Hello, today we'll be making this crochet bear coaster. Here are the materials you'll need. I'm using 8 ply of cotton yarn, a 4.5mm crochet hook, scissors, and a tapestry needle. Start with a slip knot. I like to twist my hook into a loop and grab the yarn. Next, chain 3. To chain, wrap your hook around the yarn and pull through. Do this two more times. Do 10 half double crochets into the first chain. Yarn over, insert your hook, then pull through. You should have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three. Do this nine more times into the same chain. should have a total of 10 half double crochet. Slip stitch to join the round. For round 2, chain 2 and do two half double crochets in each stitch. You should have a total of 20 stitches by the end of the round. Slip stitch to join the round. For round 3, chain 2. Half double crochet in the first stitch, then do two half double crochets in the next stitch. Repeat this pattern until the end of the round. You should have a total of 30 stitches. Slip stitch to join the round. For round 4, we're not chaining at the start of the round. Instead, double crochet 5 times into the first stitch. This will form the bear's right ear. Slip stitch in the next stitch, then single crochet once in the next 4 stitches.
slip stitch, double crochet 5 times, then slip stitch again to form the left ear. Single crochet in all the remaining stitches. Fasten off in the second to the last stitch. We'll be doing an invisible join. To do an invisible join, insert your tapestry needle into the front of the first double crochet stitch. Pull through. Then, carry the thread over to the front side and insert your tapestry needle into the back loop of the first stitch we fastened off from. This allows it to blend in better with the other stitches as opposed to the regular slip stitch finish. Weave the ends. For the starting tail, I like to weave the ends through the first round of stitches. When you pull it, it acts like a drawstring that makes the middle hole smaller. Continue weaving the ends. And we're all done! I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, clarifications, or even feedback, feel free to comment them below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more.